first step in calibrating the system is to log in and establish a security code. In order to do that, we press the user key, which is the decimal button. Notice above it, it says user. We'll press that key. It prompts you for a username. Um, from our standpoint, it does not matter what the username is. If you want to assign operators individual usernames, uh, those are recorded so you can see who changed what. In this case, we'll press enter because we don't, we don't really care. At this point, it prompts you for a password. The T3000 high level password is 1232. So we're going to go ahead and enter that. 1232. Two. And once that's entered, you press the enter key to accept it. You will see security level high, and then it's going to kick you out to the main screen again. At this point, you are logged in, and it will remain logged in for approximately two minutes unless you are entering a key. So in, in this case, at this point, to get into the actual calibration menu, we're going to press the setup button and then scroll down to the calibration line. Notice the little arrow pointer is now pointing at calibration, and we'll press enter to enter that screen. Um, at this point, you're, you're prompted for a calibration type. The type we want to use is traditional. You can see TRAD is displayed. That's the abbreviation for it. You may also see a, a C2 option. We do not want to enter that one. We want to enter the traditional calibration. So once your traditional is selected, you press enter. At this point, you are in the calibration uh, menu. Uh, the first step once you are in that menu is to ensure that the machine is uh, free of product, free of any sort of contact points. Um, Ensure that the package and container are off the machine. Um, essentially, you want to make sure there are no foreign contacts with the machine. So, the, assuming the machine is free and clean, we will uh, complete the zero portion of the calibration by scrolling down to the do traditional cal zero. Notice it says zero here in the quotations. Uh, machine is stable, nothing on the machine will press enter and you watch the screen it changes to a zero value so at this point we've set our zero level and it uh, looks like a fairly stable zero reading um, now we want to go ahead and get a, a calibration weight that is normally something close to what you might weigh on your machine in most cases that's a 50 pound calibration weight and once you've established your calibration weight value you enter that number in the span value setting you can see my arrows on that line I want to make it a 50 pound weight. I'll enter 50 and press enter. And what that does is uh, basically let the machine know that we're going to hang a 50 pound calibration weight. At this point, we'll go ahead and put that weight on your machine. And you want to ensure that weight is sitting on the machine and is remaining relatively stable. It's not swaying, it's not touching a non weighed portion of the machine. It is essentially hanging from the machine as close to how a bag or container would hang. So our weight is on there and stable. We're going to scroll down to the line that says do traditional cal span. Um, ensure that it does say span. If you, if you use the zero at this point, it's going to cause a, a huge calibration problem. So once again, we're pointed at do traditional cal span. We'll press enter. And you can see it forces our reading to 50. Um, at this point, we like to remove the weight to ensure that our zero is still accurate. And it looks like we could use a touch up, so we'll scroll up to the do calibration zero line again and press enter real quick. That should stabilize it. And then uh, we'll go ahead and verify our span by placing our weight back on. And it's reading 50, so it's good. And you can remove and, and place that weight on there as many times as you're comfortable to ensure that it's repeatable and accurate. Now, if, if you continually have to re zero and re span, you know, and you've done it a few times, maybe half a dozen, then that's an indication there might be a mechanical problem somewhere on the machine that, that needs looked at. And uh, now that our calibration is complete, it looks good. We'll hit the exit key several times until we're back to the main screen, which shows your uh, current product. And at that point, uh, calibration is complete.